rating my dance costumes, like, comment, and share, and maybe even consider hitting that plus if you like the series. So for this first costume, it's actually pretty simple, but it's pretty nice at the same time because I literally found all these items in my closet. All we had to do was follow a color scheme of a pink shirt and jeans. However, jeans can be hard to dance in because they don't let you move around as much. I'm giving it a six out of 10. For this next costume, I love the whole sparkly rainbow romper vibe. The sequins change color depending on the lighting, how you're moving around. However, this costume can be a little bit hard to get on. It can be a little tight sometimes, but I still love it. And I love the matching scrunchie as well. It's a whole vibe and I just love sparkly things. So for this one, I'm giving a 7 out of 10. Okay, so this costume is really, really comfortable. Like, I would literally even wear this in public. The white parts on the costume actually glow in the dark, especially under black light. It looks so cool. However, the costume could be pretty hot under stage light, so I'd give it a 6 out of 10. So this next costume is simple black leotard which makes it really easy to get out and off during quick changes. And I love, love, love the geometric design on the front. It is very comfortable. However, it does fit a little weird on me at the top. I would give this one a seven out of 10. I think this costume is super cute. I love the color scheme of the red and orange. It's definitely different from anything I've had before. And of course, I love the sequins. I love sparkly things, sparkly costumes. I think they're super cute. I don't really have anything negative to say about this one, so I think I'll give it a 10 out of 10. So for this costume, it fits so well. It literally fits perfectly, and it's super comfortable also. I love the rhinestone work and how colorful it looks, especially under stage lights. It looks so pretty and sparkly. It's very eye-catching, and I just love the unique design, so I'm gonna give this one an 11 out of 10. So for this costume, it's actually two pieces. The romper is separate from the leotard, but I love the rhinestones on the sleeve. Just adds a little bit more. And of course I love sparkles. It's very comfortable, very flowy. I love the flowy vibe, but it's a little bit hard to get on. So I'd give it a nine out of 10. So with this costume, I literally feel like I belong in a Barbie movie. Like that is the vibe I'm getting. And I totally love it. I love twirling in it, if you can't tell. However, it's a little bit hard to maintain, but that's kind of with all tutus because you have to store them correctly and make sure they look nice and pretty for whenever you do wear them. But I also love this little rainbow hair piece in the back, as you just saw. I'm gonna give this costume an eight out of 10. Okay, so this costume is obviously two pieces. I'm in love with the lace leotard. It's so pretty. And the colors on the skirt, the rainbow, it's so pretty. Although the skirt did need some alterations and I did step on it quite a bit during the performance. So I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. Okay, so for this next costume, I think it's super simple, super cute. I love the color and the velvet. This hair piece is pretty cute too. Just a simple costume. I would literally wear this as an everyday outfit if it wasn't for the slit, not gonna lie, because it's super cute. I wish I could wear it as an everyday outfit. I'm giving it a nine out of 10 for that reason. I felt so cool in this costume, I'm not even gonna lie. It's classy and cool. However, the buttons did come undone a few times on stage and I might have also worn the costume inside out on stage. So for that reason, I'm giving it a four out of 10. So for this final costume, I love the unique design of it. I love the sparkly gold sequins. Give it that shiny look all over the costume. I love it so much. However, the gold band around the hat didn't really fit that well, but that was kind of a last minute addition. And the back was a little bit hard to button, which made it a little bit harder during quick changes, but we managed to do it. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10.